All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to cover how to change the score bug color for your team and how to change the score bug name for your team. There will be timestamps to get to the specific area you need to get to in this video. If this ends up helping you, please do like the video, share it around the people who need it, and hit up the College Football Revamp Discord because without that Discord and the people there, I wouldn't know what the hell I'm doing either. With that said, let's get to it. The first thing we're going to cover is the score bug color. To do this, is a little scary because you have to use the hex editor. I believe there's another way to do this, but this is the way I've done it. So this is the way I'm gonna take you through it. I'll leave the Discord link to this message in the description. Go ahead and download that hex editor so you can follow along. Once you've done that, I'm gonna leave a link to another Discord message, and this goes by CMAX guide here, of which files you need to export out of your KQL patch file. I'm gonna walk you through this, but if you need this in front of you in writing, this Discord link will take you to CMAX message. All right, now if you're doing any modding, I'm assuming you have the AST editor. I may or may not leave a link for that in the description, you can look. All right, so we're gonna open up the AST editor and immediately we're gonna go to open, AST. We're gonna navigate to our patch folder. So I'm already in it, but for me, it's on my C drive games, RPC S3, dev, HDD0, game, blue, USR, DIR, DLC, and there is my KQL patch file. Now, before I make any edits to this, I'll back it up. But when we're exporting, it's not really a big deal. So I'm going to open it up. And it might take a second, might take even longer for you, depending on your CPU. All right. Now, the first file I'm going to export is five. AST five. Extract it. I'm going to put it in a folder I made called Scorebug Color Tutorial. All right. So that's exported. Now, what I like to do, and some people might not do this, I like to close the AST editor after I've done something. So if I've replaced multiple things or I've extracted multiple things, then I close it down and open it up again. So I'm going to close it, open it back up. And now I'm going to navigate to where I extracted that file, right? So on my desktop, I'm going to go over to Scorebug tutorial and there's file five AST. Open it up. And the next one I'm going to export is 13. So we're going to extract this. I'm going to extract it to the same folder. Okay, I'm gonna close it. Now I'm gonna open up the AST editor once more. Now I'm gonna open up 13. The very bottom of 13 is file 65 and this is an APT file. We're gonna extract this to the same folder. Boom, done. Close our AST editor. Now this is the part where you better have that hex editor downloaded because you're gonna need it for this next step. So I'm gonna go into the Scorebug tutorial folder I've made. And there is my APT file. So now I need to open up the hex editor. All right, so here's my hex editor file. I'm gonna open that up, minimize this. And with the hex editor open, I'm gonna go to file, open, navigate to that tutorial folder, grab that APT, 65 APT, open it up. And here's where things can get messy. If you make a mistake here, you can mess everything up. So. I'd say before you even make an edit and save here, you should probably go back up that patch file, but we'll do it in a second anyway. So now comes another very important Discord link that I will leave in the description that you need to use. This is for living human. Now you can count the occurrences, like CMAC has in his message here of 29B700, to find the color that you're looking for in this APT file. But the easier way to do it is to use living human's guide that he is uh, so generously listed here which will tell you exactly what you need to look for for the team you're replacing. So in my case, I have a custom team in the game for the Rapid City Stegos. They've replaced Buffalo. So according to Living Humans list, this is going to be the value of E24F in the APT file that we open. So I'm going to copy E24F. I'm going to go back to that APT file in the hex editor. I'm going to go to search, go to, and I'm going to paste that value in here. Leave it on hex. Offset relative to begin, click OK, and it will take you to the first occurrence of 29B700. After that is your primary color for the score bug. So in my case, it's 0058C4. And we can confirm that. And if, you, if you're not sure, you should do this before you change any numbers in here. So what I'm going to do now is confirm that. I'm going to load up Photoshop real quick. All right, so let's put it in, right? Let's put it in the hex value, 00. 58C4, and we've got a blue. Now that is the Buffalo blue that is on the score bug. 
that can be easily confirmed you should know what color the score bug is you're replacing if you don't you can always load up ncaa and check now i want to change that let's change it to something crazy uh that doesn't match at all just so we can tell that it's changed once we go into the game so let's say i want it to be ffde00 we'll copy that out go back to our hex editor and we're still in the right place so right after that last zero zero right here i'm gonna highlight 0058c4 and i'm gonna paste that value that will change the primary color now if you want to change the secondary color it will be after the first occurrence after this that is b700 which would be up here so if i wanted to change that i'd go to this 0 0 five eight c4 and change that but i'm not going to change that in this case we're just going to change the primary so once you've made your change file save as and i recommend doing a save as i do not recommend overwriting because sometimes you can run into issues this is just the safest way to do these things once this box pops up we're going to change this to underscore two so it's file 65 underscore two apt save it in the same folder boom okay we're going to close out of the hex editor i'm going to close out of photoshop and now I'm going to begin the process of reloading these things. So I'm going to open up my AST editor. I'm going to open up file 13. We're going to go back down to 65 APT. We're going to re replace and we're going to grab that new underscore two file. Okay. You can see it's in the import name. I'm going to go to file, save as, and just like I did with the APT file, I'm going to name this underscore two. I'm going to save it. And then I'm weird about this. You you might be able to leave it open and open it, open up the next one, but I like to close the uh, AST editor, open it up again. And now we're just going backwards. We're reverse engineering. So I'm going to open up file five. Now I'm going to replace file 13 with our new file 13 underscore two. Import names there. File, save as, grab five. I'm going to change it to underscore two. Rinse, repeat, right? Now I'm gonna close the AST editor. We're gonna open up the AST editor one last time. And this time we're gonna navigate to the patch file. There it is. I'm gonna open it up. Again, this might take a second, depends on your system. And file five, we're going to replace with our new file five. There it is. Open, it's in the import name, file, save as, and I'm doing the same thing. So on the KQL patch file, underscore two, save. You'll notice it went quick. It might go a little slower for you. Exit out. Now I have two KQL patch files, right? This is the original, this is the new one. What I like to do is name the original. You can name it original or I like, I just put works because I know it works and then rename the underscore two, you just take the underscore two off. So the game recognizes it as the KQL patch file that you want to use. Now you just load up the game and see if it worked. So we'll do that real quick. And there you go. You can see that it's turned yellow. It used to be that blue color. Rapid City is now a yellow color. Sorry for the spoilers for those who follow the Rapid City Dynasty. <laughs> Now, if you run into an error where your score bug reverts to the old one, I would say make sure you do this thing fresh. So go back, extract from your original patch file all the files you need that are necessary. Make sure you save fresh new files instead of overwriting anything. And make sure you are on the second double zeros when you find that instance for the primary color of the score bug. If you're not, you will have an issue. It is very easy to screw up in the hex editor and mess things up. So be careful, make backups, and if things don't go right, start over fresh. All right, next we're gonna go over how to change the name and logo on the score bug. All right, let's get to it. The first thing you need is the APT editor. So again, I'm gonna leave a Discord link and uh, you'll need to head over there and get the APT editor if you don't have it already. Or you can just come over to the Discord, search APT editor, find Wad's message, and you will see the download link there. So inside of my tutorial folder, I'm gonna make another one just just called team name uh, logo, right? This is where we're gonna do everything. It's important that once you have the APT editor downloaded, move it into this folder that you're using. Now, just like before, we're gonna open up the AST editor and we're gonna go to our patch file. Again, it's gonna take a second to load. 
maybe longer for you. It just depends on your system. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to extract five, but I'm going to put it on my desktop this time, just so it's separate from where it was the last time. I'm going to close the AS theater, open it up again. Again, you probably don't need to do this, but that's just my safe way of doing it. I'm going to go back to my desktop, open up five, extract 13 to the desktop. I'm going to close it. Once again, I'm going to open up 13 and now this time is different. So instead of just 65, we're going to grab 64 and 65 extract, not to the desktop this time. This time we're going to go into that folder we created where the APT editor is right. Team name logo was mine and I'm going to click. Okay. Okay. Those files are now in that folder. Close out of that AST editor. Okay. So this next step is very important. Make sure you are doing this correctly. I'm going to minimize discord. We're going to center in on this a little more. Okay. So, all right. So the next step before you can drop 64 on to the exe, we have to rename these for this to work. So we're going to take file 64 and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it the team that I'm going to be making next to be rapid city's rival spoiler. Then I'm going to change uppercase APT to C O N S T. All right. It's going to ask if you're sure you're going to click yes. And then you're going to do the same thing with 65. We're going to change it to Fargo. It has to be named the same. Okay. And then for the extension, instead of uppercase APT, we're going to do lowercase APT. Once you've done that, you're going to drag your APT file onto the APT editor. It's going to load up. It should be very fast. You'll see it says successfully converted. You could exit that. And now you have an XML file. I like to just open this with notepad. There are other things you can open it with, but notepad, pretty simple. And you're going to get a giant wall of text in here. You just got to find your team, find the team that you're uh, changing the name for. All right. So you're going to hit control F and then you're going to search for the team you're changing. And in my case, Buffalo doesn't exist because I've already changed them. So I'm going to search for rapid city. Find next and there's rapid city. Now, all I have to do is change this to Fargo and then click save exit out. All right. Now with your test output file, this is a, one of the last steps, I guess you're going to take this, you're going to drag it onto your APT editor and it's going to convert them and give you two APT files. All right. We'll close out of that. Now we're going to open up the AST editor. And we're going to open up file 13 from before. So that's on my desktop. And we're going to go all the way down to 64 and 65, just like before. Remember 64 is the smaller one in size. So it's going to be the one that's 14 KB. At least for me, it is, it should be around the same for you. So I'm going to click replace, navigate to where I have those files. All right, so here's 14 open, click 65 now, replace. And here is test output APT. That's 85 KB open. And you'll see, I have the two import names and we're gonna do the same thing as we did before with the color save as I'm going to go back to my desktop. I'm going to click that 13 just so it populates the name and I'm going to change it to an underscore two. All right, I've saved it, exiting out of the AST editor, opening it back up. Now I'm going to open file five, just like before. We're going to go to 13, replace, grab the underscore two that we just saved out. Bam, it's in there. File, save as, same steps. File five, underscore two. Close out of the AST editor, open it again. And finally, we're going to open up the KQL patch file again. And then on file five, replace. You're going to have to go back to your desktop, find the underscore two file, load it in there, file, save as, and then in your patch file, you're going to save another one. So patch underscore two, and it will take a second, close that 
folder. We're going to go to the DLC folder. I know I'm going kind of fast. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm going to name the original one that we know works, works too, just so I know iterations here. I can tell by timestamps too, but all right. So underscore two, remove it. And now let's load up the game and see if Fargo is the team name in the score bug. And there you go. As you can see, still yellow from the previous file we just worked. And now instead of Rapid City, it says Fargo. Now for the next part, we will replace that logo that is sitting in the score bug. Okay, so let's do the last step of this, shall we? Let's change that logo. Now, we're not gonna be using the patch file for this. We're gonna be using the interface file. So you're gonna wanna get to that directory with your AST editor. Just as we've used previously, we're gonna open it up once I navigate to it. And we're gonna go down to file 141. There it is. I'm gonna extract this to my desktop. Close the AST editor, open it again, and then open up that file from the desktop. All right. Now, the logos here, you'll notice, you replace these and they will show up in other areas of the interface in the game and the UI, but it will not replace the scorebug logo. To get to those, you've got to drill down a little bit further. Now for mine, it was all the way down to 354. There you can see I've already replaced it, but for the sake of this, I will replace it again. So. I'm going to extract the selected DDS file to my desktop. Once again, I'm going to close the AST editor. All right. So the DDS file on my desktop. Now I work with Photoshop with this. I would recommend Photoshop. If you have paint.net, you can use that as well. But for the sake of this, I'm using Photoshop. You will get a message that asks you about load options. Leave these unchecked. Click OK. And there is the logo. Now I'm going to change it. So what I'm going to do is open up a PNG file. I do not have the Fargo logo made yet. So I'm going to grab good old Brutus. All right. And I'm going to drag him into that file. Go Bucks, by the way. All right, I'm going to line him up. So he's close to taking up the same space and centered. You don't want to hit the edges. You, you could run into problems. I'd stay away from the edges of the canvas. All right, so I'm gonna hide the stego. And the next thing I'm gonna do, actually you could delete it if you want. You don't need to. I mean, you could always control Z back to get it back. I'm gonna click save a copy. Very important. I've run into issues when I don't do this. So for the sake of this, click save a copy. It will come up with Intel TextureWorks DDS. If you do not have Intel TextureWorks, See the video in the description of the last tutorial I did, the only other tutorial I did that links to Intel TextureWorks. I might even put it in the description down below as well if you don't have it as an option here. If you do, it should come up like this, right? So it's named copy. I don't like when the files get named like that. So of course, I'm gonna stick to my tried and true and do underscore two, click save, and it should ask you what kind of file this is, right? What texture type? For this, we want color plus alpha. If you just do color, it's gonna be the wrong format in this case, because this is a DXT5 file. And I'll show you where it says that in the AST editor when we load this back in. So color plus alpha, and then on MIP maps, leave it on auto-generate. Do not change this, leave it on auto-generate. Click okay, and the file is saved out. I'm gonna close Photoshop, and I'm gonna open the AST editor again. And we're gonna go right back in to file 141 that's on the desktop. I'm gonna go back down to 354 and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So you can see DDS type DXT5. If you have your color, uh, if it's just on color instead of color plus alpha, it's gonna be a DXT1 and you're not gonna have a transparency behind it. You want the transparency there. You see that the mitt maps are at 10 down below. You want these numbers to stay the same pretty much. The MIPS can change. Um, a little bit. I've had that happen on some other files and it's been fine. But m for the most part, you want them to stay the same. You won't run into issues, hopefully, if it stays the same. I haven't run into any. So I'm going to click it and click replace selected. I'm going to go to my desktop and grab that new one, which is underscore two. And now you see Brutus is here. 
all right you'll notice that none of these change dxt5 with high stay the same and the mid map stayed the same even the, the the bit depth stayed the same next file save as and this is our 141 file so we're going to go to it click it so it populates the file name underscore two save and it went fast but it's already saved all right so i'm going to close the ast editor open it again it's kind of like an ocd thing for me <laughs> all right so back into the interface file we're opening that with the ast editor and then back down to 141 because we need to reload this in with our new logo replace go to your desktop grab that 141 underscore two open you'll see it there file save as back to your directory where the interface is click it just like you did before do an underscore two just like the previous files and it will save out and once again i'm going to close the ast editor now in here you will notice i have an interface works and works too already because i've done tests on other things here so i'm going to name this uh works um again <laughs> and then of course i'm just going to take that underscore two remove it and our interface file should be ready so the next step is to load up the game and check your work again you can see I've done other mods to the scoreboard as well. If you want to know how to do that, let me know and I'll do a tutorial on that. And there you go. We've got a yellow ticker for Fargo that has a Buckeye logo. I know. It would have been nice if I had all the assets ready for that new created team. I am going to do a tutorial or basically a walkthrough of me creating that team. It'll be the specific way on how I do things. So if that's something you're interested in at the end of uh, Rapid City's season, I will be creating Fargo and moving them to the Big Ten West. All right. If you've got any questions, head over to that discord for college football revamped. You will find most of your answers in that discord. A lot of helpful people there that can guide you in the right direction. I'll answer what I can in the comments. But please hit up that Discord. Big thank you to Living Human and C Mac. I couldn't have done it without those messages from those two. And shout out to Viper Boxer. Thanks, man, for uh, pointing me in the right direction on the interface file. I didn't know it was that easy. And that's what kind of led me down the road to figure out the rest. So thank you. Really appreciate it. And please, if you like this video or it helped you out in any way, drop a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know what other tutorials you might want to see or if the created team walkthrough does interest you. And of course, you can check out the Rapid City Dynasty that's currently going on. It's pretty sweet. We've got a motion captured sideline reporter and I'm going to be adding another one. But hey, thanks for the support. I will see you in the next video, but until then, go Stegos and go Bucks.